Hi, welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Marcus Yam, and with the launch of the Raptor Lake family, that's the 13th gen Intel Core processors for both mobile and desktop, we're here at CES 2023 to check out the latest and greatest PCs packing this powerful processor. Joining me today is George from MSI to show me about what's new. George, thanks for joining me. Yeah, of course. Thanks uh, for having us. Tell me what you do. Yeah, so uh, I work for the US marketing team. Specifically, I focus on our desktop. Great, uh, we got desktop right here, so let's jump right into it. What's yeah, new? Definitely, so this is our uh, CES honoree uh, award winner, our latest and greatest in the Trident lineup, which is the MEG Trident X2. Uh, what's cool about this one, it's a very compact chassis, but it features top of the line components. So uh, in this system, we uh, have a Intel i9-3900KF, so you get Eight performance cores, 16 efficiency cores. That's what I'm wearing right here, by yeah. the way. That's the die. And it can turbo boost up to 5.8 gigahertz. So cool. it's really amazing, really powerful. Uh, it, of course, we pair it with an Intel uh, Z790 chipset motherboard with PCIe Gen 5. And uh, to top it all off, we have an RTX 4090 graphics card inside this little chassis. Uh, Super beefy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can't take my eyes off of what you have on the screen going here. Sure, so that's one of the main features of this desktop here is we've actually added a touchscreen here. We call it the HMI 2.0. Uh, the cool thing about it is obviously you can configure it. Uh, there's many different features you can do. You can set shortcuts for programs you want to launch on the go. Uh, configure your volume settings, music, free up some RAM if you want. My favorite feature is that it has OSD control. So there's no more fidgeting at the back of your monitor if you want to change some settings. Uh, you can just do it right on your desktop with a few clicks. And you know that's one of the features we're trying to add to uh, many of our desktops in order to give more convenience to gamers. Is this, is this inter interfacing with the BIOS itself or is there some software that's got to go through Windows in order to make this work? It does have to go through Windows. There's actually a connection that goes from uh, the monitor to the, to the desktop through USB. Uh, at the moment, there's a, a few compatible ones such as this one, but we're looking to expand that further. Cool. Any other cool features to the case? I see you know you got a lot of uh, you know mesh panels here for cooling. Definitely. So, like I said, it has top of the line parts, uh, and with uh, i9 and a 4090, you definitely need good cooling. And with such a compact ca uh, chassis, we had to get a little creative. So, in the system, we actually have the graphics card mounted upside down, uh, so that the fans are facing upwards. We have uh, what we call an air baffle design, which uh, actually connects to the graphics card and tunnels in air to really draw in air into the system and exhaust it. Pairing with that for the CPU, we actually have a 280 millimeter radiator inside. So it's very beefy and with great cooling as well. Very, very cool, pardon yeah. the pun. <laughs> I'm probably gonna use that a couple more sure. times today. Um, any other desktops you wanna check out? Sure, if you wanna take a look, we have a very similar spec one with an i9 and 4090, but it's geared more for the DIY enthusiast and uh, just has a ton of great features for upgradability and, and uh, you know, access down the line. George, that's super cool. Uh, thanks for taking time for, with me and uh, talking tech. Yeah, you know, thanks for having us, thanks for coming by, and hope uh, to see you again. I'm joined by Jordan from MSI. Jordan, thanks for joining me. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I am the Associate Product Marketing Manager here at MSI, uh, and I'm mostly focused on the laptop side. All right, let's get right to it. Of course, our, our headline processor for CES is the HX series. Uh, I love the 13980HX. That's yes. kind of the one that's taken a lot of that technology from our desktop yeah. and put it in the most powerful laptops. I love it because it's got uh, 24 cores, 32 threads. It will handle anything you can throw at it. So I'm excited for you to show kind of the thing that shows off our chip the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two, two of the laptops that we have over here for our gaming side, uh, we have our Titan GT77HX. And then we also have our Raider G78HX. Um, so Titan, of course, it's the top of the line uh, performance that we have here. Of course, it comes with a 1390 HX uh, series processor, but it also comes with like the 40 series graphics cards as well. Um, so three of the coolest things I, I would like to mention about like the, the Titan is that we actually have a mini LED 4K 144 hertz refresh rate display. Um, this is one of the exclusive ones that we have currently um, with the AUO manufacturer. Um, and also, uh, this uses the Cherry MX uh, mechanical switch keyboards as well. Um, and one of the other coolest things is that we actually have a sure pipe design uh, this year um, to really help efficiently cool like the CPU, GPU, and also as well as the VRAM. So both of these laptops actually include that kind of heat pipe design um, to really um, push out the performance of these, the, the chips and making sure that this is the one 
one of the more powerful ones uh, out there. Yeah, cooling's so important because that's how we're able to s sustain you know, higher clock frequencies for longer, just yeah. so that's, that, that makes sense for uh, system performance. Yeah. You got uh, the Raider over here? Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. So for the Raider, uh, we have a new uh, Matrix light bar. So you can see that it has this like more retro uh, like RGB lighting, I would say. I think a lot of uh, uh, people really love this kind of design. We used to have a more panoramic like light bar, but we really wanted to keep something a little bit new for us. Yeah, the and previous generation, it was, you know, you couldn't see all the, you know, the yeah. lights in there. It was more uh, uh, opaque, but you could, it was like, you can see what's going on. Is this the same type of lighting, but you've just made it clear? Uh, so it is kind of similar to the same lighting. However, it's more of individual bars inside of it. So last year it was more like a translucent yeah. one whole thing, but this time it's more, we wanted to make it more real, like maybe more retro tech, but at the same time, it's also new. I think something we haven't seen before yet. Um, so I, I think our ID design team did a very good job on that. We still have our RGB keyboard with uh, new translucent WASD keys, and as well as we have multiple like refresh rate uh, displays. So we have like UHD plus, and we also have QHD plus with 240 hertz. Okay. Um, mentioned cooling, of course, and and there's this very cool uh, cooler that you have, kind of out of out of the, the the chassis to show us what actually goes on inside to keep things cool. Do you mind uh, walking us through? Yeah. So where this kind of fits in, and and kind of what's effective about yeah, it? Yeah. So this one is our uh, Raiders cooling. Um, so the newest things is that we use this chair pipe design. So uh, the CPU and the GPU has some of the heat pipes that are going through it that goes across from both sides. Um, this way it allows you to, let's say, if you're using something a little bit more multitask oriented and we need CPU power more and we don't really need the GPU, then we can use that same heat pipe to kind of like cool it off even more. Um, but one of the other things is that we have one dedicated heat pipe for like the VRAM. So, okay. you know, a lot of people that are playing video games and everything, um, we really wanted to make sure that we could cool down everything efficiently. And as well as uh, having these two massive uh, fans here to help really cool down all the heat things in here. Because we know that performing uh, at very high end levels, you know, you really want to get all the heat out as much as you can. Um, so yeah, this actually really just fits in here. Massive, yeah. Nice. We really wanted to just yoink this out to have everyone <laughs> yeah. look at this. Yeah, like it. you can actually see uh, where, they're, where the fans blow out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, pardon the pun, but very cool. Thanks for talking tech, Jordan. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Hi, Anne. Uh, tell me who you are and what you do. Yeah, I'm Anne. I'm from MSI uh, Notebook Marketing. Great. Yeah. Um, I just had a look at the gaming laptops with the new yeah. uh, Intel HX series processor, which are fantastic for gamers. But I know that MSI is something for creators as well with the same power of the processors. Can you tell me what's, what's new here? Yeah, so we have a Creator Z17 HX and also the Creator Z16, which is a 16 inch of a, a Creator. So we have two sides of the Creators of it, so with the HX processor and the RTX 40 series graphics card. So great stuff for creators. Of course, got that 24 cores, 32 threads from the HX processor. And uh, I noticed that you wanted to show me something that's kind of cool about yeah. the, the pen of, of all things. Yeah, so it actually can write us like a normal pen here, and you also can directly switch to screens. Yeah. So from notebook to notebook without yeah, having to without, put down your pen. Yeah. Okay. So one pen. Pretty cool. Um, obviously, I know that uh, MSI has a lot of new Evo laptops. We have a new Evo spec uh, for 13th gen. So. Yeah, let's over. just check it out here. Now, I know we've got the full processor lineup. We have the H series processors, uh, 13th gen H series processors, as well as the P. But yeah. uh, point out to me, um, actually, first of all, to clarify, these are all Evo laptops. Yeah, all Evo. Is all Evo. Yeah. So this is actually the two 14 inch and 16 inch is with H processor, but it's still Evo laptops. So here. H processors, I think that one's got 14 cores. Uh, this one has uh, 10 cores. Yes. Um, and these to uh, have the P yeah, processor the with 12 cores. Yeah, so this is actually our fashion model of this year. So this is a Prestige 13 Evo. So you can feel how lightweight it is. This is just quite light. What, what is the chassis made Yeah, of? it's a magnesium aluminum alloy. So magnesium aluminum alloy. You can okay, feel wow. it's not that plastic-ish. Yeah, and it's pretty rigid. There's, there's no flex in it. Yeah. Very nice. Yes, and also the battery light is 75 watt battery. 75 watt battery, so good and battery then, life. Yeah, you can check out the IO port here too. So. Yeah, it's such a thin laptop, and you have uh, a USB-A, yeah. uh, micro SD, full-size HDMI, and two Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Yeah. yeah, and headphone jack, of course. Yes, and we I have like two this. colors of it. It's white, and we also have a carbon gray. Carbon gray. Options, yeah. Very cool, great looking. All right, I love it. And 16 by 10, another yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah, that is a trend, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and well, thank you so much for showing me this. You look great. Thank you.